on 280. Hi, right, Potomac Scavengers, uh, triple two. Scavengers, three one three, departing to the west from Belfort. We'd like to do the island's approach at Winchester. Sikorsky helicopter is five minutes out inbound. Uh, with the Jason uh, initial approach fix. Uh, Scavengers triple two, uh, I have your request. You can expect vectors for ILS three two. I right, expect vectors runway three two. Which is triple two. Sit back and hold, hold on to the yoke just in case it doesn't. Okay. You don't expect. So you can manually take over without any doubt. Okay. All right. So I am here and I can activate the approach, can't I? That'll show me all this stuff, right? It's possible. So what are what did we discuss in the past? Do you remember by any chance? So what's your on headings? I'm still in heading mode, so I can activate it. So I'm still in heading mode, but that'll show me all this. Okay. So when he uh, clears me, uh, if I'm cleared for the approach, I can hit APR. I'm in I'm in uh, heading mode. This will go to green, and it'll intercept the localizer and then the glide slope. So I think I could activate it now. Okay. Technically. Okay. So let's just do that and activate vectors to final. All right. So I'm in green mode, and this is showing me where we are. There's a plane out there, feet below us. So at some point he's going to turn me in like this, and I'm still in heading mode at 31. Power's a little bit high. I'll bring it back to 24. Image is triple two. Right turn two eight zero. Maintain. 3,100 to establish and cleared for the ILS 3-2. We heard turn right uh, 080. Maintain heading until established on ILS 3 -2. Were we cleared for that approach? H is triple two. It's a right turn 280. Maintain 3,100 to establish and cleared ILS 3-2. Cleared, uh, cleared ILS 3-2. Turning 280. Cleared for the approach. I'm going to intercept that. So technically now I can go here. I've got my frequency in. The localizer is armed. The glide slope is armed. I'm at 31. I'm going to intercept. There goes one pen. I'm going to leave it. I don't need it. I have one in my hand. And 280. 31. I'm coming in here. This is Cabin Scavenge 313 and 6 miles to the west of Parking. Here's the final. Let's call it. Switch the frequency here. Are you handling the radios or am I handling them? You? Okay. You do? He, he was kind enough to handle them for me. He okay. made it easy. I'll do it. That's okay. okay. Localizer and glide slope have been armed. They are not captured. We have the right frequency in, right? Right. Push the 
seat back just a Turbo 2, see the wind's blowing a little bit, so turn right to 300, maintain 3100. You're still cleared for the ILS 32. Mike 330, maintain 3100, and uh, for the ILS. Skyrim to Triple 2, that is uh, right heading uh, 300, you're still, still cleared for the ILS 32. 300, cleared for the ILS 32. Alright, that makes more sense. It to be captured in a minute. Look, 31. Power is 2370. Good with this. We're coming in a clad, which puts us like 12 miles out or something. Winchester traffic, uh, Cessna Sky Ventures, triple two, about 12 miles southeast inbound for runway 32. All right, localizer is captured, waiting for the glide slope to come in. That should turn. The heading 3-2, let's see what it does. Hanover traffic, 1-2, South Del Victor, turning downwind, runway 3-4, Hanover. Bring the power back a little bit to 22 to slow us down to 90 knots. Amazing, this feels kind of rusty. It's amazing how rusty this feels. I don't under... Uh, Sky Ventures to Winchester, Winchester, you can come. The winds are 280 at 10, alternative 2989, Winchester. Skyvention triple two. Two eight zero, okay. That's good. All right, we're about ninety knots. Wait, localizer is captured, glide slope is armed. Traffic, about twenty two, frequencies in. Left face S clad. Down to Kogan. Rums are nine twenty, missed approach. Climb runway heading fourteen hundred, climb right thirty seven hundred from just to go around, but. Five point eight to Kogan. Inbound to Cedar. Four seven eight. Thanks. Skyvention triple two. Winchester traffic, Skyhawk 
one Sierra Papa is back taxing three two for an immediate takeoff. Winchester. I'm going to put this on 37 because that would be our missed approach altitude. One Sierra Papa, Winchester Unicom. The winds are two eight zero at one two. Altimeter two nine nine zero. Winchester. Thank you. On the Kogan. Miles. Kogan. Eighty knots. We're about eighteen. More power, probably because of the headwind. Back just a little bit. Next approach is climb runway heading 140, right turn 37. The mums are 920. Missed at 920. Bit of power. Okay, not headwind. Winchester traffic, Skyhawk 1 Sierra Papa is departing 32 out to the west, Winchester. Right, almost at Kogan. Morning traffic, I have a phone in four miles northwest, inbound BOR 151. All right, Winchester traffic, Sky Ventures triple two, about uh, five miles southeast, inbound runway 32. is captured, glide slope is captured, airspeed is 90, altitude 1820, looking for 920. Okay, traffic down at 672 Delta Sierra, turning downwind 34, Carroll County. Carroll County. There's a flat. Winchester traffic, Skyhawk 25 uniform is departing the area out to the west, Winchester, last call. Climbing through 1,600. Southeast inbound runway 32. We expect to go missed. Uh, climb out with a right hand turn. All right, airspeed is picked up. Bring the power back here a Zero bit. County, uh, 5 6 0 uniform Sierra is about 15 to the south. We'll be landing straight in 3 4, Carroll County. That's a little bit turbulent. Do you want me to go down to 920 or not? Yeah, let's go to the minimums. And the fog is moving. The Unicom calls it. Uh, Sky Ranger Triple Two, I see the fog is rolling in, but I hope you make it in. There we copy that. All right, about now, I'm going to go. The airspeed's coming down. Let's put this back in at 17. Turn off the AP as soon as it stabilizes. Good for 920. Airspeed's. Oh, I'm putting a little bit of power in. 15 knot headwind. I'm going manual on that now. Descent, I'm following the uh, the red. Good for 920. And of course is to the right. Glide slope is about right. Glide slope is to the right. Slight crosswind. It's good. Going to 920. Feet to go, slight right turn, and this is to the right, glide slope below us. All right, I don't see it, Minimums. I'm going this. And we're going to 1400. Troy heading 3 2.
1400 with a right turnout. Winchester traffic, damage triple two, uh, flying over midfield on runway heading, expect a right turnout imminently. Helicopter to Winchester, Winchester to Unicom, the winds are 280 at 12, gust 17, altimeter 2990, Winchester. A learning opportunity here, all right? So you have push go around, go around, right? Hey, right. it's all over the place. Go ahead and push nav. Up. That takes care of everything. Oh, I want to talk about that later because uh, uh, I know we've said that before. I've tried it several times. I'm never quite sure exactly. Is that w what you press after the go around button? All right. Okay, I'm going to do the autopilot here. So let's do uh, let's do nav and altitude, and we're going to climb about five miles to the southeast, landing straight about 85, and let's turn that on. And it didn't like that, so let's do heading mode here. six seven two Delta Sierra, turning crosswind. All right, we're in heading mode. Okay. And let's see if we get nav. Yes, climbing 85, altitude is armed at 3,700, within 1,000 feet, climbing at about 85. All right. One of the things I know you do all the time, it's very uh, uh, noticeable. It's a cap 140 thing. You're pushing altitude every time you go up there, but it's already armed, so you don't have to push. Hey, look what happens when you do that. It says altitude, so it wants to level off. But what I did was I hit I hit altitude. Then I, before I activated the AP, I made, I made my flight level change here. So I comp made the correction here, and then I hit AP. Okay. So there's your flight level change again, and there you go up, 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 right? I, I didn't do that. What I did was let, let's turn it off. All right. All right. We're in manual mode. We're roughly three. I'm climbing out. So I want to say, okay, I want to go to nav. Altitude is armed. All right. So I want to climb out. Left. Going here. I want to climb out at, let's say, 90 knots. All right. Nav mode. And now I hit AP. Now it maintains flight level attitude. It doesn't go into the roll mode, it goes into flight level change mode. Right? right? That's the way I understand it. Alright, and there's a difference between what you do now and what you did before. But maybe. Well, not maybe. Yes, you did. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm the one that really sees what's going on. <laughs> and your brain is very busy trying to make sure everything worked. Right. So <laughs> what I'm trying to do here also is give you a little learning curve here, helping you understand what you're doing and just giving you the one little thing that although you're doing it, you're capturing it, you're doing a cap 140, you're doing a cap 140 technique that you don't need. But... If you keep on doing exactly what you're doing, and you confirm the role mode, uh, you confirm the modes in the flight director panel, then it is acceptable. Um, it's a better technique which uh, will keep you from being uh, in trouble potentially. That's what it's going on. But you've captured it uh, most of the time, but 
Uh, now this is important because I, I want to get this because what I'm doing is trying to set up everything and hit the AP button last. Right. Right. So that's that's true. That's what I think I'm doing. Right. Right. So go to make a left turn uh, right now, heading zero six zero. And then we go to heading mode. And grab the heading again. The zero six zero. Zero six zero. All right. At 3700, heading mode, 060, and bring the power back just a little bit. Uh, I, I want to hear your comments, because I do feel I'm doing a little bit of more button bashing than I need to do. I can't quite figure out why that is. Go ahead and set 4,500 feet in the autopilot, uh, in the altitude. 4,500 feet. 4,500. Right. Uh, I'm going to push go around. So go ahead and push go around. Push go around. So, autopilot kicks off, your wings are level, you bring your nose up to the bars, right? Bring your nose up, up to bring the bar. Bring your nose up to the bar, just like normally you would do. Add your or what you normally would do, right? Okay. So you add your power, like in a go-around. Okay. But then, if everything looks good, you either go to nav mode or uh, heading mode, right? Okay. Right, let's go to heading mode. All right. Go to heading mode. But now at least you have control there. And now I'd like you to make sure that you uh, uh, climb to 4,500 feet. How are you going to do that? Um. Well, the altitude's already captured. Uh, it's not captured. I mean, I mean armed. All right. So what are you going to do? I would hit flight level change, and we got 83, so we could make it 85, whatever. Okay, then autopilot on. Autopilot on. All right. So the difference what you just did is that during the go around you've been pushing alt. Okay. Which you didn't have to do. But immediately after that, you go to flight level change. What you're actually doing by pushing all this, go ahead and level off. But then you say flight level change, you want to go back up again. I don't have to hit alt after that, the go around is what you're saying. That it's is already armed. That is correct. Okay. Everything is always already armed. Okay. In the GFC 700, it's always armed. Right. And all right. Not, not armed in the cap 140. There you go. All right. Yeah. All right. That's good. I appreciate that. That's right. good. I like it. We're enable the Martinsburg VOR. I say again, please. We're enable. The